When it comes to a Christmas carol revision, it's worth reminding yourself of some key character facts. Here's our rundown of all the main players in the story. Firstly, Ebenezer Scrooge. He's an elderly businessman who is notoriously greedy and mean-spirited. At the start, Scrooge values his money over the well-being of his staff or the affection of his family and shows no compassion towards those less fortunate. By the end, thanks to the three spirits, Scrooge is a changed man, full of kindness and generosity for others. Next, let's talk Bob Cratchit. Cratchit is Scrooge's clerk and is a kind and gentle man who is devoted to his large family and in particular our attention is drawn to his son Tiny Tim. He's loyal to Scrooge and dedicated to his job despite being overworked and underpaid. We meet Jacob Marley towards the start of the story, or Marley's ghost, Scrooge's former business partner who died seven years before the story begins. In life, Marley was just as greedy as Scrooge and his ghost is doomed to walk the earth in chains as a result. He visits Scrooge to warn him that he'll suffer the same fate if he doesn't change his ways. There are three spirits or ghosts. The first one is the ghost of Christmas past and this apparition shows Scrooge events from Christmases in his past. It appears as a strange figure that seems both old and young at the same time and has a glowing light shining from its head. The ghost carries a candle extinguisher as a cap. The ghost of Christmas present is ghost number two and appears as a jolly giant surrounded by a huge Christmas feast. It shows Scrooge joyful Christmas scenes, including the Cratchit family's Christmas dinner, but also shows him an image of poor and starving children. And then the last ghost is the ghost of Christmas yet to come and it appears as a silent figure cloaked in black and shows Scrooge scenes from a possible future including a scene of the death of Tiny Tim and a scene of Scrooge's own grave. The spirit leaves Scrooge begging for the chance to change his ways and avoid these events from coming to pass. I've already mentioned Tiny Tim. He's Bob's youngest child. He has a disability. He walks on crutches, but is full of happiness and optimism. Scrooge becomes determined to change his ways after seeing the vision of Tiny Tim's death and realising that he could prevent it by treating Bob more fairly. Another positive character in Scrooge's life is his nephew, Fred. He's cheerful. He offers to have Scrooge around for Christmas dinner every year and that offer Scrooge always refuses. But at the end, Scrooge finally spends Christmas Day with Fred and his family. Mr. Fezziwig is Scrooge's first employer and he treated him like a son. Mr. Fezziwig is shown as the opposite of the old Scrooge. He is wealthy, but jolly and generous with his money and he shows great affection for his employees. The last person I want to mention to you is Belle. She is the woman that Scrooge loved as a young man. They were engaged, but Belle ended the engagement when she realised Scrooge cared more about his wealth than about her. She went on to find love and happiness with another man. The information in this video can also be found in written form in our A Christmas Carol Revision Guide. You can buy a digital copy of this from the Twinkle website using the link in the video description. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.